What is good, Duffy Gang? It is your boy, Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to another episode of Tylen's Crazy Ass Life. So, y'all, my life has been in ab absolute shambles for the past um, months. <laughs> <laughs> I um, got my test results back today. I have recently, well, tested positive for COVID-19. I am here to give you guys a life update uh, about this um, and let you guys know uh, what's going on and uh, my symptoms and uh, what I did um, to get through this hard time. Um, Y'all, it's very real. Um, this isn't a hoax. This isn't something that's fake. This isn't something that is make-believe. Um, it, it's, it's, it's definitely affecting people and it definitely needs to be taken more seriously than ever, especially right now. I'm so glad that I can be here making this video for you guys and uh, with good energy because, yeah, um, I would, uh, this past Tuesday was the worst day. You know, um, Sunday, I started feeling the symptoms. Um, I started getting like a minor sore throat. That's whenever I started, you know, drinking a lot of water. I started um, uh, drinking NyQuil and whatnot. And by Tuesday, it hit, I'm talking about, it hit full flat. I'm talking about like, if you got a truck and you just laid out on the street and the truck just ran over. Not saying that I've experienced that before, but just saying that that's how it feels. It's just absolutely crazy that it happened to me. So that Tuesday night, my sore throat developed into like a full body. Like I felt my body begin to like shut down. My body started becoming really, really numb. It started getting really weak to where I couldn't like walk. I literally couldn't. Um, I started getting like really bad headaches. My body just everything just started to just shut down right and i had my apple watch on y'all know i have an apple watch and uh thank god for this feature on apple but um there was an indicator that my uh um heartbeat got like it just shot up like it like out of nowhere and all i was doing was sitting down so that was really 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 alarming to me my heart started racing really really fast um and i just i didn't know what to do i was just sitting there because i was just like uh i don't have a thermometer i know i don't i didn't own it the i didn't own a thermometer until now i know i um didn't own a thermometer so i couldn't take my uh temperature um I, I generally didn't know what was going on it was definitely a very very scary night the whole night i was very restless i couldn't go to sleep but i was so tired and i was like why am i so tired but i can't go to sleep like what is going on so I started contemplating that whole time while um, while sitting, um, while laying on my couch. I was like, should I go to the hospital? Like, Tyler, this can't be happening. There's no way that you have coronavirus. There's no way. There's no possible way, right? So the next day, I went to go get tested. And um, they told me it would take about three to five business days, um, three to five days to get my test results back. But the next day, you know, I didn't have, you know, um, uh, my body wasn't as weak. Um, I had some strength. Uh, it was just very, very achy. It just felt like I got beat up all day. Um, whenever I went to go get the test, I did have a fever of 102. Um, but they said that I was talking fine. I was looking fine and I was breathing fine. So thank God, you know, that I didn't really have to go to the hospital to be in like ICU or anything or like a ventilator or whatever. She did say like, if your, uh, if your heart rate was that high, um that was a possible indicator that you needed to go to the hospital and i was like oh my god i was like i could have just died in my house i'm just like i just don't know like it, when i also went to go get tested my blood pressure ended up being super high like it, it was just it was like 140 over 96 or um no 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 no, no, no. i lied Whenever I went to go get my blood pressure done, it was 126 over 89. But whenever um, I went back home, because I finally bought a thermometer and I finally um, got, I got a uh, blood pressure thing, my blood pressure was 140 over 96. So my body was most definitely fighting this virus, y'all. It is most definitely, it's out there. So you guys have to be safe. Hand sanitizer, wash hands, limit the amount of time that you spend outside i know that everything is like opening up outside right now 
And it's just, it's really scary because just everybody's congregating together. And I know COVID cases are increasing by the day. And I just, it's just scary. Because it, it, it's taking me a while to actually comprehend the fact that we are in a pandemic. And, you know, I was putting on my Instagram story a, um, a lot, like, saying, like, I can't believe that we're in a pandemic. Because I really, I generally, I can't believe that we are. And that, you know, just things have been stripped away so quickly. And it's, and I think that's what everybody's struggling with right now. Because everybody wants things to go back to normal. But what is normal? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is normal? Normal? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who knows what that is? <laughs> but on a serious note, though, y'all, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, the doctor did advise me to at least stay indoors because I have been self-quarantining. Um, that my symptoms have probably you know i probably had the virus long before my symptoms actually happened um they do advise me to just quarantine 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 stay indoors um and even after you don't have any more symptoms to still quarantine three days after that um whenever i just got the test results back today today's saturday um i took the test on uh wednesday i started not having any more symptoms on thursday so it's coming closer to that time but still i need to limit the amount of time that i spend next to people so you guys if you guys know any friends and family that are going through this um prayers out to y'all um just stay safe everybody because this is a learning lesson for me and you know, I haven't been doing everything in my power to protect myself. I have not been doing everything in my power to stay indoors. Um, but it, it's serious. And um, I know you guys watch me and you guys want to make sure I'm okay and that I'm keeping up with everything that's going on in my life. And honestly, and there's been so much going on in my life to where I'm just, I'm tired. But <laughs> yeah, this is this is Thailand's world. I hope you guys are having a good time as well. And uh just take this very, 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 very seriously because I would hate anything to happen to you guys or your family or anything like that. So, yeah. Yeah. It's scary, y'all. Um, but like I said, I'm doing a lot better. I am still going to rest a lot. Um, I just desanitized my whole house. I washed, like, all my sheets, all my clothes. I washed the carpet. I... I did it all, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, y'all, this is just a life update video. I just wanted to let you guys know that we're good. Frankie's good. Ain't that right, Frank? Restifer's good. Ooh, ignore this pillow. I know this pillow's horrible. That's the old pillow. Look, I got, I got the good stuff over there. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> but yeah, y'all, um, uh, my bonnet's on because I'm moisturizing my hair. So yeah, and it's like white underneath and like wet still. So yeah, but anyways, y'all. Um, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Uh, hit that like button. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And please take this, run with it, and listen to what I'm saying. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces!